I've found myself in an odd place lately. It's a place between an artist block and an idea overload. I've been in this place as an artist all summer. It's caused me to feel overwhelmed because I'm unclear on which direction to go. I've been exploring and playing with different ideas, but in the end, I need to focus on one thing. I'll get back to that in a minute. But first, let's talk about artist block and overload. Artist blocks, also known as creative blocks, happen when an artist feels unable to create. It looks different for each individual artist. Feeling like you have no ideas, lacking motivation, having trouble translating ideas into art, avoiding creativity, feeling anxious about the creative process. It comes from burnout, self-doubt, stress, and external distractions, and a lack of clarity. And then there's this idea of overload. I struggle with this all the time. In its basic form, an artist just has too many ideas. For example, an art collection. Well, how about 12 art collections? A product line. How about six products that turn into 24 products? Prints, cards, stickers, bookmarks, pins, notepads, and then there's courses. Let's make a course. Let's plan all this out. And now I'm completely overwhelmed. I cannot be the only artist who deals with this. It turns into stress, which turns into a creative block. And here we are. I have some great tools that have helped me through my creative blocks. Um, I have a business planner that I use on a regular basis. I have plenty of books that I've read and I'm in a community or a membership um, for women entrepreneurs. But sometimes I just need to focus on one thing. I'm a firm believer in self-care. It's really about the importance of doing less. You see, I want to make a difference in people's lives through my art. But I can't do that without self-care. There are eight types of self-care. There's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, environment, social, and financial. In a perfect world, these would be well-balanced, right? In different seasons of life, these can get off balance. Are you a new mom? Are, have you started a new career? Are you having financial struggles? Are you an empty nester? Or do you have young children that you're taking care of on a daily basis? We all find ourselves in different seasons, but it really all comes back to that one thing. Are you taking care of yourself? I'm going to really focus on how it helps the artist. However, I really think that these can help anybody. I've broken them down into four videos. The first one, I'm going to cover physical and mental self-care. The second one, I'm going to cover emotional and spiritual self-care. In the third one, I'm going to cover intellectual and environment. And in the last video, I'm going to cover social and financial self-care. 
Ideally, I want to help other artists find this balance. Sometimes things can get off balance, but I really feel like if we can just collectively look at all of these eight types that we can then begin to grow as artists and do things that we never thought were possible. So watch this next video where I cover the physical and the mental self-care.